let's return to a slide that we've seen before uh, and once again take a look at it and this is a skin slide this is a palmar skin from the palm of the hand so to find this go to the NYU virtual microscope type skin in the search box and choose the first slide which comes up this time rather than focusing on uh, epithelium uh, what we're actually going to do is look a little bit more perhaps at some of the connective tissue and one or two of the other features so just to refresh Here's the epithelium, it ex extends from here, which is the uh, skin surface, to here. The epithelium of the skin is called epidermis, and the epithelium of the skin is stratified, squamous, and keratinized. Uh, it has two distinct layers to it, a dead outer keratinized layer, which extends from here to here, and inner living layers of the epidermis, or epithelium of the skin, extending from here to here. Immediately beneath the epidermis, the epithelium of the skin, is some loose to moderately dense connective tissue. So let's zoom in and take a little bit of a closer look at this, and we have covered this on a previous slide, I believe. So if we look at uh, one of these ridges of connective tissue that projects up into the uh, epidermis, what we can see here is uh, some highly cellular, uh, and that's characteristic indeed in this region here, characteristic of loose connective tissue is that it contains large numbers of uh, cells. We can contrast this loose connective tissue, uh, as we see it here, with the dense irregular connective tissue which we see here. And here we see that the collagen is organized as a series of uh, very large irregularly shaped bundles. Here's a bundle here, here's a bundle in cross section, here's another bundle, here's another bundle. There are cells present, in this case here, here, here here, here, and here, and these are principally going to be uh, fibroblasts. The layer of dense irregular connective tissue that's found beneath the skin is called the dermis, with the epithelial layer above it, as we see here, called the epidermis. And so here again, we're looking at the distinction between dense irregular connective tissue, collagen bundles and fibroblasts, versus a looser connective tissue here. But again, you need to understand that there's no clear distinction between the two, and that in fact they're a continuum, with the fibers just being more densely packed here, and the cells being more concentrated uh, here. So that's the connective tissue of the uh, dermis, and here we see it here. As I mentioned on a previous version of a uh, look at previous uh, video looking at this slide, there are glands present deep in the uh, dermis, and we can just uh, zoom in. These are sweat glands, producing a, a watery kind of sweat that uh, appears in the skin surface. And these glands, of course, will have ducts which carry the sweat to the surface. Here's a duct here. This is maybe a secretory portion of a gland. And what you should do is look through these and see if you could classify the epithelium in each. Here's an arteriole. We've seen one of these before. Here you see the uh, nuclei of the squamous endothelial cells that project into the lumen of the arteriole, which has uh, contracted down due to the elasticity of its wall. Outside the endothelium we see here these are smooth muscle cells that are oriented circularly around the wall of the arteriole. Close by, there are uh, two or three smaller versions of blood vessels. These are capillaries. There's one here there's one here, and there's one here. And here we see the nucleus of a capillary endothelial cell here and here, and a nucleus of a capillary endothelial cell here and here, and a capillary cell nucleus here. And in most cases, these nuclei either bulge into the lumen of the capillary or are found closely associated, wrapped circularly uh, around it. So that's an arteriole and some capillaries. And you can look for other blood vessels on this skin slide uh, if you wish. One thing that you do need to look at is this material which we see here, and here, and here, and here. And this is adipose tissue, uh, or fat, a uh, particular type of fat called unilocular adipose tissue, or white adipose tissue. And we're going to zoom in and we're going to look at the cells that make up this adipose tissue. Adipose tissue is a form of connective tissue. Now here, this looks in some ways a little bit like one of the uh, slides of the kidney that we uh, looked at. But these aren't lumens which we see here. These are in fact where fat droplets were present during the course of processing of the tissue. Now the fat itself is extracted during tissue processing and what's left behind is a large fluid filled space in which the fat droplet was originally contained. Unilocular adipose tissue refers to adipose tissue in which the fat is stored as a single complete droplet within the cytoplasm of one cell. 
So in fact, each of the spaces which we see here originally was occupied by a fat droplet which was contained within the cytoplasm of one cell. So this space which we see here represents one adipocyte or one fat cell. Here's the nucleus of that fat cell. In this space here there would have been a fat droplet and the pink which you see which extends around here is the thin rim of cytoplasm that extended round and within which that fat droplet was contained. Here's another adipocyte or fat cell and here's the nucleus of the fat cell and this is where the fat droplet would have been contained. If we come out in magnification just a little bit we can see that these cells are bound together in clusters and they're bound together by sheets of this pink material here which if we go and look in a region perhaps uh, along here we'll see is made of moderately dense connective tissue so this is moderately dense collagenous uh, connective tissue these nuclei here are of cells that make the connective tissue so these are fibroblast nuclei as I zoom in a little more we can see the bundling of the uh, collagen fibers here and then as we look around we'll also find that in among the uh, adipocytes there are other nuclei present some of these will belong to endothelial cells of capillaries and some of these nuclei belong to fibroblasts that are interspersed among the adipocytes so this is another form of connective tissue with which you're now familiar is adipose tissue so to review on this slide we will see stratified squamous keratinized epithelium of the epidermis. Beneath the epidermis in patches here, here, here and here we'll see loose connective tissue. Beneath the epidermis the bulk of the tissue which we see is um, dense irregular connective tissue and collectively the dense irregular connective tissue underneath the epidermis is called the dermis. Deep to the dermis, in what's called the hypodermis, we'll encounter some unilocular adipose tissue, or fat, which you can see here. And this fat is found associated with dense connective tissue, dense irregular uh, connective tissue. And we can also see the ducts of some glands here, and blood vessels, and these are largely associated with or surrounded by loose connective tissue.